token economy and the management of schizophrenia. So token economy is not really a treatment of schizophrenia, it's more a way of an individual um, managing the symptoms of schizophrenia. So token economy is based on operant conditioning and it aims to modify the observable behaviours and symptoms of schizophrenia and it happens in three main steps. So firstly, um, therapists and the individual will identify the undesirable and maladaptive behaviour. So that could be the um, positive symptoms such as hallucinations and delusions or the negative symptoms such as um, speech poverty or the absence of goal orientated behaviour. Secondly, they identify the reinforcers that maintain that behaviour. And thirdly, they will restructure the environment so the undesired behaviour is no longer reinforced. So typically, when the individual will display that normal behaviour, such as the patient does something well, or they have that basic social interaction, or they carry out a goal oriented task, or they're not appearing to have any hallucinations or delusions, they will be rewarded with a token. So they will be given that positive reinforcement. In order for that token to be given a value, it must be presented alongside or immediately reinforced with the stimulus. And by pairing that neutral token with a reinforcing stimulus eventually means that that token is given that same reinforcing property. So typically, once enough tokens have been collected, it can be exchanged for a larger reward or privilege. So for example, it could be exchanged for watching TV, listening to music or sporting activity. Now, during the early stages of token economy, Frequent exchange periods must happen and it means that the patient can quickly be reinforced and that target behaviours can be increased in frequency. So therefore, they are more likely to display those desired behaviours and less likely to show those undesirable or maladaptive behaviours. So in terms of some evaluation points, we have supporting evidence. So it was found that tokens were effective in eliminating undesired behaviours and maintaining desired behaviours. This would imply that it is an effective treatment of schizophrenia. However, patients in psychiatric hospitals are also on drug treatments. So it's difficult to say whether the improvement is down to drug treatments or um, token economy. Therefore, that could be an extraneous variable which reduces and confounds the results. This would imply that token economy isn't an effective treatment in comparison to drug therapy or we should be cautious when um, generalising the findings. So as you can see I started off with the strength of that study and included a counter argument about the issues surrounding the fact that a lot of the time um, patients are on drug treatments alongside um, token economy. Equally a weakness is that token economy only appears to be effective if the tokens are given immediately after the person or schizophrenic displays that desired behaviour. And the longer the interval between the behaviour, the less likely the token is to have an effect. That would imply that it's not always um, an effective treatment and only works if rewards are given Im uh, immediately. And it would imply that it isn't a long-term treatment or management of schizophrenia. So therefore, family therapy or CBT might be a more effective way of treating schizophrenia in the long term. Equally, another weakness is it claimed that token economy does not lead to a permanent change in behaviour. Once the reinforcement is removed, so they are no longer receiving tokens, um, the undesired behaviour returns to the initial level. So that would imply that token economy is not an effective long-term treatment of schizophrenia and it may not be appropriate to use this treatment instead of drug therapy on patients with schizophrenia. So therefore it does not appear to be an effective treatment or management of schizophrenia.
If we were to look at a 16 marker then, outline and evaluate token economy as a management of schizophrenia. So remember two AO1 paragraphs, I would personally talk about the idea that token economy is based on operant conditioning, that it's trying to modify observable behaviour through reinforcement, that they will identify the undesirable or maladaptive behaviour such as the positive symptoms or negative symptoms and they will identify reinforcers and um, they will restructure the environment so that the behaviour is no longer reinforced. I would then move on to talking about how when a person displays the appropriate behaviour they will be reinforced with a token which um, provides that positive reinforcement that token needs to be given some value so it needs to be presented with a reinforcing stimulus such as a reward and that means that the token becomes associated with that positive reinforcement then moving on to my second a1 paragraph i talk about how that once enough um, tokens are collected it can be exchanged for a privilege such as a larger reward, such as watching TV or taking part in a sporting activity. Um, and you could extend it further by saying that during the early stages, you need to be frequently exchanging um, tokens for rewards and um, administering tokens for desired behaviour so that the target behaviours can be increased and the patient becomes quickly reinforced for that um, appropriate behaviour. Then moving on to three evaluation points as a minimum, try to point evidence, explain link. If you can include a counter argument within that um, supporting evidence that maybe it isn't as necessarily um, straightforward as first uh, implied, that yes, it does appear to have an effect on um, maladaptive behaviour and managing that treatment. Equally, alongside the institutes and the hospitals, patients are on uh, drug treatment as well as receiving token economy. So it might not be inappropriate or as effective as first thought. We can then talk about the issue that it doesn't appear to offer any long term benefit. So once the reinforcers are removed, the patient will revert back to the maladaptive behaviour quite quickly. Equally, um, the token needs to be given immediately afterwards or the rewards needs to be immediately after the desired behaviour. Otherwise, it doesn't have an effect. Also, you can talk about in terms of the ethics surrounding token economy. So are we actually removing some of those basic rights of um, individuals with schizophrenia um, by withholding some of this um, privileges or um, rights that we might consider actually human rights, but is deemed as a reward for um, showing um, appropriate behaviour?